Mm-hmm. How did you feel to get? We're talking now, like Demond Nicholson. After was it battle. one that you really thought you needed to get, and the way that you did it? Huh. Mr. Juan, you know every fight we need to get, mm-hmm. but this fight, really, to me, the way I looked at it, it depended. It, this fight depended on how my life would go. How my life would go. Tell you. You know, so I had to lay everything on the line. I had to bite down, no matter how hard it get. You know, I was, got cut on my eye. You know, no matter how hard it, no, how, my, no matter how hard it got, I had to listen to them, listen to them, listen to what they tell me, and believe in them. And that's what got me all the way through today. And I had to believe in myself most of all. You know, um, of course, this fight meant everything to me. You know, I have two kids that I have to take care of, and winning this fight is going to help. It's going to it's going to help me along the road. This is a big fight for me. What, what was the difference from you feeling? In this fight, mm-hmm. to what you felt my emotions. during the uh, heart My fight. emotions. I didn't let my emotions get to me. When I got punched, I weathered the storm. I kept boxing. I stick to the game plan. My last fight, I got caught. And I got away from the game plan. I got emotional. And I was fighting myself instead of fighting him. You know, this fight, I was like, look, just listen to the corner. That's all I kept telling myself is keep listening to your corner. That's one of the things Juan and I talked about. Your yes. ability to handle adversity. Exactly. Was a exactly. Big key that. Exactly. And I made the adjustment. Mm-hmm. You know, last fight, last fight, I could, I, I made the adjustment, but I made it too late. Mm-hmm. And that was all based off my corner. Yeah. My corner didn't help me make the adjustment. I was trying to tell them the adjustment. They didn't. They didn't agree with me. But, but, but Coach Calvin made the adjustment in the fifth, the fifth round. He told me to throw circle punches. When he said circle punches, I said, okay, I got it now. <laughs> I got it now. Everything started clicking. See what you said, uh, Ms. Nicholson? Well, when we fought Jesse Hart, I wanted him to stay to his jab. Mm-hmm. And they said, nah, we want to stay to the plan. Well, you got to be able to readjust if something's not working. Mm-hmm. And when he used his jab against Jesse, he looked good using his jab. Mm-hmm. But like I said, they wanted him to fight inside. Mm-hmm. And he kept leaning. That's how he got caught behind the head. Yeah. Coach Cow. Yes. What you saw in DeMond previously before he started working with you, and then he, when he did start working with you, automatically did you see what you need to work on? I tell you, we grew up together. Remember, all the amateurs came up with it. The golden gloves, the silver gloves, I've been there with all of them. So I know all their style because I had to compete against them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And each one of them got their own style. Mm-hmm. But when they turn pro, they get away, to, away mm-hmm. from it. So that's all we did was make him go back to where it started from, the essence. This is the essence. Mm-hmm. He came in there and believed us and let me and Kenny do what he do. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Kenny sit back and, 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 and was the bow. You know what I'm saying? You need to work on this guy. You need mm-hmm. to work on that. He, he, was the, he was the extra eyes. He sit back in the back and like, okay, I like what y'all doing. And he set all his training up to what we want to do in this fight. Yes, sir. Don't watch the fight. He's like, don't watch the fight. You don't need to. We got that. Mm-hmm. And unconsciously, he was actually fighting the way how he was supposed to fight the yep. guy. And everything. He went back to his true nature of yep. how he used to fight when yep. he was an amateur. Mm-hmm. That's where it started. Mm-hmm. And of course, you were among those great amateurs you were alongside you yes, and Demetrius yes. and uh, Jared Hurd yes, and, and, uh, and the Monrico yep. Golson and those yep. guys. And those guys got help get you to exactly. this point here? Exactly. Definitely. Uh, Definitely. Still today, you know, I still spar with Jared Hurd. Mm-hmm. Big shout out to him, and a definitely a big shout out to Demetrius Ballard, man, because he's it's been a long road for him. He's about to fight soon, and uh, we helping each other. We fought about six, seven times in the amateurs, yep. you know, and we still we still fighting each other. We are helping each other now, mm-hmm. you know. We're not fighting against each other. We are fighting with each other. Oh, that's so um, even Jared Hurd is still working with him. Mm-hmm. They all like brothers to me, man. You know, so it's a pleasure. And it's, and it's wonderful, and I can't wait to get back to work and get back in the ring and stay busy. Fantastic. Yeah. Congratulations. Demond Thank Nicholson. Thank you. The best daddy. Thank you. Right here with Kenny Ellis, Calvin Ford, uh, Demond Nicholson, Fowler, Will Nicholson. A tremendous win for Demond Nicholson winning the WBC, USNBC Super Middleweight Championship. We're back with our post-fight wrap-up show in just a little bit. Stay with us.